Welcome to Interview Me, where I interview you. In this case, nobody, because nobody's here. Like always. I like to be alone, anyways! <laughs> Today, I'm going to talk about Kesha's new video for Die Young, uh, The X Factor, and how it's making me very upset, and American Horror Story Asylum. First, I want to talk about Kesha's new video um, for Die Young. I just have one thing to say about it Pentagrams. That's pretty much it. But, uh, <laughs> not really. But it's just very crazy. She's, like, dancing in front of, like, a fake pentagram. It's not, like, a real one. But it's just crazy. Like, upside down crosses and triangles and eyes. And I'm just like, what are you doing, Kesha? What is wrong with you? Like, she's just going crazy. And I think it was to, you know, joke around and poke fun at people. Like, you know, ooh, you think you're edgy? Well, look at me. I can be edgy, too. But she's really just kind of making fun of everybody. But it's a very strange video. I couldn't stop watching, though. I really liked it. I hope... Like, I hope since she's doing this, she just goes all out with it. And, like, her next single is Supernatural, which is a song about, you know, doing things with ghosts. So I hope, like, she falls in love with the ghost, you know, in the music video. Like, a short film music video, and she, like, falls in love with the ghost, and then it possesses her. That'd be pretty neat. Um, if she just went all with that weird, you know, theme. It's just really crazy. Um, next we'll talk about the X Factor. Um... Last week, not like, like the week that Jason Brock went home, I, Demi, I don't like her as a judge, I love her as a person, she's a terrible judge, she's a terrible mentor, she is, she's the reason Janelle went home, because she just turned Janelle into a Demi number two, and you can tell she just liked Janelle, because she was the one who voted to, you know, send Paige home. I mean, I like Janelle, but she just took every bit of originality out, out of her and put Demi back in. And, like, the week before, she's just being so stupid and stubborn with Simon. Like, grow up. And, like, this week, I agree. Like, Simon and Demi should have just, like, they're in, like, this, hey, I'm famous, have a lot of money. I think, like, they're celebrities. They don't care, really, I think. So, you know, they're just kind of like, oh, well, I want to see, like, who he voted for, who she voted for. Like, I agree with Mario Lopez. Like, grow up. These are people's lives. And she needs to shave off those eyebrows. She's looking terrible. Like, I know you're not supposed to talk bad about people who have image problems. But she looks terrible. She needs to shave off them eyebrows. And maybe she'll start acting like a normal human being. And not a terrible person. A terrible mentor. A terrible judge. Britney Spears can do no wrong, though. And lastly, we're going to talk about American Horror Story. As I am. I just started watching American Horror Story. And oh my god. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert, spoiler alert. I'm going to talk about Anne Frank. Um, the first episode I watched, I think it was the one before Anne Frank Part 1. But today I watched Anne, I recorded Anne Frank Part 1 and Anne Frank Part 2, so I watched them both. And oh my god, oh my god. I couldn't believe what's his face. The doctor was bloody faced. Oh my god. Like, I mean, I could. Like, when she got to his apartment, he's like, you want a glass of wine? I was like, he gonna drug her and she, and he gonna kill her. But I didn't think he was going to be bloody faced. But then, like, the lamp and then, like, the skull, like, ball. Like, who's gonna eat a mint out of a, this one's skull? Oh. And, like, he's bloody face and I couldn't believe it. And he's like, kiss her. Don't worry. She doesn't, she won't bite you. She doesn't have any teeth. It was really crazy. And I like the nun who's, like, demon possessed. She's funny when she, like, touched the cross and she's like, ouch. <laughs> I don't really like her, but I don't really like anybody on that show. Because they're all crazy. I feel bad for everyone on there. It's just very sad. And very demented. And like the cover art for like the season. But then like the white nun. that's like crying black. Like at first I was like okay oh, that's creepy. But the more I looked at it. Because I was on a page tonight. And I was looking at it. And the picture was the background. It was so creepy. Oh I was watching that. I was reading an interview of the lady who plays Lana. And that's crazy. And I can't believe. Oh my god. That show is just demented and crazy. And what's his face is like a Nazi doctor. He gave her a lobotomy. And I don't even know. Like that. Who would even think that's okay? I guess it's the 60s, you know. Lobotomy. Lesbianism. What's another L word? I don't know. But Ryan Murphy, I don't always like what he does with his shows. Like Glee. Oh my gosh. It's like they want us to hate Finn, but then they want us to like him. But that's a whole different story. Like Ryan Murphy, he, um,. I don't always like what he does with his shows, but I mean, I trust him to make a good one. And American Horror Story is a good one. I didn't watch the first season, and this is way long. So I'm going to go and just... Oh my god, bloody face and the teeth and the skin. And the skin and the bodies. 
Um, I'm sorry, I've been talking kind of loud like everyone's. My dad's, my dad's in the living room. He probably thinks I'm crazy. And my mom's asleep. And, um, yeah, but that was, that was my little thing. So, adios, amigos.